All right, so basically, I bought the phone. It has everything that the first one has, but a little bit more options. It's like little things that are for, I mean, just just for the better, like to look at the phone, you know, shaped better. It has, you know, a different range of keys. This right here is to scroll through things. Like right here is all your Metro apps. Anything that you install, you have your email, your um, internet, all that type of stuff. This controls anything. So when you go in your menu or something like that, you know, if the menu looks a little bit different. You can scroll using this. Or if you're watching a video, yeah, this one, you can upload videos from the internet. But you just have to convert it to 3GP format. That means if even if you have a full movie, you can put it on this phone. Trust me, I've done it. Just put a um a micro SD card in there, which can go up to eight gigs. So you can put full movies on here, watch it on the go. And the great thing about it is that if you want to listen to it, um, at the very top of the phone, it takes any headphone jack, like for music or anything, or your MP3 player. Stick it right in there, watch a movie on the go. That's like a very great feature about the phone. Um, if you're wondering, because you can record videos and you can watch videos on there, can you go on YouTube? You can go on YouTube.com. It's a mobile version of it, but you cannot watch videos. That's the thing, because it does not have a full HTML browser. There are very, I think there's maybe one or two phones that Metro has to offer that you can do that. So, um, the Metro Web is basically the same exact thing. It's just the only difference that is really noticeable. Maybe if, maybe it's a difference that I'm not seeing, but the only thing is that you can actually go on the internet like this. Before, for the first one, you had there was no option. You had to open up the phone, but now you can alternate and it won't cut off. That's the only plus. But um, same same thing. But if you want to get free ringtones and I guess three three pictures, graphics and stuff like that, just go to funformobile.com and it'll let you be able to download it as long as you have um, the internet playing on your Metro account. That's it. So, um, you know, it's everything that a regular phone should have. You know, it has your, your contacts, calls, messages at Metro. That's where you do your shopping at your, your Metro web, um, voice control, settings, tools, and multimedia and multimedia you have your camera your camcorder your music images videos ringtones sounds it's basically the same exact thing it has bluetooth calendar memo pad alarm clock world time calculator stopwatch converter tip calculator you know everything you could basically need nothing really different about it it's just that video is that that stamp on it that, that makes it distinctly different so, I mean, here's that quick toolbar just to go to all your applications. You cannot customize this if you wanted to put my videos and ringtones and just, you know, scroll up and get it right there without going to the menu. You can't. There's no customization for that. That's, you know, that's a downside. Um, the voice command works just fine. And tell it to call somebody. You know, if you set your Bluetooth up, press the button once. Call home. Yes. See? Actually, um, the voice thing works pretty fine. It's very sleek design. Um, sometimes you might have a little bit of issues that might reset on you. Because um, I actually went to YouTube.com and tried to watch a video and it reset it. And I went for Fun for Mobile, which has the, um, the videos that are converted for the phone. Try to watch it and it will say it's streaming, but then it will say connection error. So I'm not sure, but um, if somebody else knows what to do about that, you can let me know. Um, and you cannot download videos for fun for mobile from the phone. You have to download it to the computer first, upload it on your SD card and stick it in, and you'll be fine. So if you want to take a video or something and send this to somebody, they have an option, you know, send for MMS, you know, just a like picture message to somebody, they'll cut it down to 30 seconds, or you can just record as long as you want until, you know, your memory fills up. Um, for the MP3 player, it's a lot different. If you can, you can still have your playlist, the speaker is a lot louder. And there was an option where if you just wanted to listen to something very quick, um, you can make like, uh, just check everything you wanted. That's not a playlist, but you can just check everything you wanted. And then 
play it. You can set your modes up. Now, if somebody called you and you had to close this out or something, it will bring you right back to it. It saves, and you know, it'll be the same playlist. Um, let me just play something for you to show you how loud the speakers are. Chris Brown, I can transform you. Now, just to show you the um, the videos on here. Anything you want, once again, um, just to double check and confirm it, it is a free GP format. Convert your videos to that and upload it and you can watch it. All right, so. Funny, funny how people call you when you're trying to do a YouTube video. I know she's gonna call back in a couple seconds, so let me just hurry up with this. Um, find a quick video for you. Depending on how you can read it. Uh, So if you have any questions or anything that I forgot, you can just hit me up in a comment or a message and I'll respond back to you and help you do the best of my abilities. I'm Knight2727. Once again, this is a Samsung Messenger 2 review by MetroPCS. All right.